oxygen administration. By the end of this topic, you will be able to Describe the different oxygen therapy systems used to deliver oxygen and list the various precautions to be followed with oxygen therapy. Various interventions have been proposed to improve oxygen delivery and reduce the oxygen consumption for resuscitation of the critically ill patients. The oxygen is prescribed cautiously to achieve saturation rates within the target range and oxygen administration should be tailored to individual needs of the critically ill patients. Tissue oxygenation is the net product of oxygen delivery and oxygen consumption and is mainly dependent on the adequate amount of oxygen delivered to the tissues. Oxygen therapy is the means by which oxygen can be delivered based on the saturation rates. The saturation rates should be maintained at optimum levels while administering oxygen to the patients. The oxygen saturation or SaO2 levels in normal adults is 92% to 98% and in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, the SaO2 levels is between 88% to 92%. Hypoxia is a condition of a reduced level of tissue oxygenation and must be treated immediately. Under emergency circumstances, oxygen can be administered by the healthcare provider without a physician. The most common causes for initiating oxygen therapy include heart failure, acute hypoxemia related to pneumonia, pulmonary embolus, shock, asthma, post-operative states, pneumothorax, abnormalities in the quantity and quality of hemoglobin and myocardial infarction leading to hypoxia. There are no specific contraindications to oxygen therapy. Now, let us discuss the various oxygen delivery systems used to deliver oxygen in critically ill patients. There are a wide range of devices which are used to provide oxygen support or administer oxygen. These have been classified based on low flow or high flow equipment providing an uncontrolled or controlled amount of supplement oxygen to the patient. The major basis for selection of delivery system should be based on treating hypoxia and preventing the complications of hyperoxygenation. The various factors that are to be considered to select the appropriate oxygen delivery device include amount of oxygen required, presence of underlying disease, age, environment, presence of an artificial airway, need for humidity and so on. Let us now know the various delivery systems used for the administration of oxygen in the ICU.